Yo, 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 physics, 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 physics. So it turns out that 1 by k equivalent is equal to summation of coefficient of t whole squared divided by ki. So ki is the uh, spring constant of the ith spring and you are summing it up over all springs. Now what does coefficient of t mean here? So what we do is we always assume the tension t on the block. The net force on the block has to be t. And then you take the coefficient. So, for example, in the, in the previous example, I had tension t uh, on the block. So, the left spring will also be t, the right, the upper spring would be 2t. So, 1 by k equivalent according to the formula above would be summation of uh, the coefficient of t in the left spring is simply 1, the tension in the left spring is t. So, 1 squared divided by the spring constant k1 plus what is the coefficient of tension uh, t? What is the coefficient of t in the upper spring? That is 2t. So, the coefficient is 2. So, 2 squared by the uh, spring constant of the upper spring which is k2. Now let's do a question where you have springs at an angle to the vertical. So let me take a spring which is going around a massless pulley connected to a string and connected to a block. Let's say spring constant is k and uh, let's say the angle with the uh, with the horizontal here of the spring is let's say some theta so the question is asking us to find the angle of frequency or they can even ask you the time period of small oscillations now uh, what we are going to do is exactly the same process we've done so far assume a tension t on the block and now let's calculate the tension in the spring. So let's say this is T dash. Uh, the string will also have a tension of T dash because they're connected and this pulley is uh, massless. So can I just write 2 T dash sine theta should be equal to T. Just balancing the forces on the massless pulley. So I'll have T dash as T by 2 sine theta. Now, what is uh, the shortcut formula that we had? We had 1 by K equivalent is equal to, there's only one spring here, so I don't have any summation, but the expression was coefficient of the tension in the spring, coefficient of t rather, in the spring. So, the coefficient of t is 1 by 2 sin theta. So, coefficient squared divided by the spring constant. And that's it. So, k equivalent would basically be 4k sin squared theta. And uh, uh, omega will therefore be root k equivalent by m. So, 4k sin squared theta by m. Here, because we are assuming small oscillations, the angle theta is assumed to be approximately constant during the oscillations. That is, an, that is an approximation. If you don't approximate or if you don't assume that, then of course the motion will no longer be SHM. So in this chapter, we make that assumption. So I hope you understood how we can solve this kind of a question. Let's do another question. I'll go to the next slide and this time you can try it out on your own. So let's say theta, theta, string constant k, 2k and uh, let me give you another spring here, also k. Alright, so find the angle of frequency of small oscillations. And this uh, pulley is massless. Alright, so give it a try, pause the video, uh, try it out on your own, you should be able to get the answer just following the same process that we did in the previous question, uh, then you can take a look at the solution. Alright, so once again what we are going to do is we are going to calculate the tensions in the spring, so assuming the net force of T on the block, of course you remember we neglect gravity because it doesn't play a role in the time period or angular frequency of linear system. Okay, so we assume tension T on the block, so the lower spring will have a tension T. What about the upper springs? Once again, if I assume T dash and T dash. Uh, they both have to be the same tension because they are connected to each other. So uh, I can simply write 2t dash sin theta is equal to t. So t dash will be once, up, once again t by 2 sin theta. Alright, so my formula 1 by k equivalent will be summation of coefficient of tension, coefficient of t squared. So for uh, this spring, 
the tension is t dash. The coefficient is 1 by 2 sin theta. The whole square divided by the spring constant k plus same thing for the right spring. Once again, the coefficient is 1 by 2 sin theta. The whole square divided by 2k this time plus uh, the lowermost spring. The tension is t itself. So, the coefficient is 1. So, 1 squared by the spring constant k. Very straightforward. So, I'll have 1 by k equivalent as uh, 1 by 4k sin square theta plus 1 by 8k sin square theta plus 1 by k. And what will you get k equivalent as 8k sin square theta divided by uh, 3 plus 8k or 8, 3 plus 8 sin, sin square theta. Yeah, this is it. Just uh, make sure I haven't made any calculation error from my side. But I hope you've understood the uh, entire process and um, I hope uh, you've gotten the correct answer and if not, you've understood the uh, solution. Uh, and of course, uh, omega would be root uh, k equivalent by m. You can just substitute that on your own. All right, so let's do one more question. I'll go to the next page. So this is a problem that I have seen in some of the uh, common coaching material or coaching papers. So let me give you 4k spring constant. Here is 4k. This is 16k. Uh, this angle is 30 degrees. This is 60 degrees. All right. So I've been given all the angles and the springs, uh, spring constants. Once again, the question is find, uh, let's say, the time period of small oscillations. And the pulley is massless once again. Uh, the spring constant here should be sorry 16k not m. All right. So if you wish you can give it a try. There is a subtle point here that you have to be very careful of. Uh, the only thing that I will tell you is uh, before you give it a try is that the tension t, how will you split it between between the two springs, is not something obvious. But there is a similar situation that we encountered in one of the previous problems where the springs were in parallel. So here also you have to think on the same line. So uh, I won't say anything anymore. You can pause the video and give it a try and then you can take a look at my solution.